my computer, if it misbehaved in any way, I would it? smash something. I probably went through a mouse every four or five weeks. Just unplug it and you do this. Bam, let it go against the wall. We know that meth use overstimulates our emotional centers, producing powerful feelings of anger and fear, which can lead to irritability and aggression. Kind of like how children do. That's how most people act under the influence of methamphetamine. Is this the last one? Is this the last one, Shelly? When I didn't get what I wanted, I just threw a temper tantrum. Shelly, did you finish it? Shelly! The more meth we used, the more violent we were. Shelly! It got to the point where violence was, was an everyday occurrence. Oh, God, my kids had it bad. I'd get a belt to their butts. You know, leave me alone right now. I want to be alone. Don't talk to me. Don't call my name. I hit them with the belt for bugging me. When I finally noticed what was going on, the police were at my house because my husband had beat me up. And I was bleeding, and I was on the floor, and it was broken stuff everywhere. And I thought, how did I get here? How, what did, what's going on in my life? Police! When we stop using, take care of our bodies, and apply the tools we've learned in recovery, our brains also heal, and aggression quiets down. I still experience being in a workplace and feeling like my opinion isn't being consulted. But now I think I have the, I have the tools, I have the resources to process them. I didn't have that before. I reach out to my sponsor, and I also have one other close friend in, in my meetings that, um, that I call because I need to let them know about the situation so that they can tell me, it's okay, let's, let's evaluate this. Angry about the way that the world works. And it's really not that big of a deal, and it's okay that you have those feelings. We often enter treatment not really knowing how aggressive we were during our use. As we get sober, we remember and may feel ashamed. With meth, aggression is a result of changes to the brain. This does not excuse the hurt we cause others, but it can help us understand what was driving the behavior.